And uh, yeah, if they put down more creatures here, that is absolutely fine with me. We can just blood on the snow, bring back our Lear. So as long as they do play another creature here or something like the one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we do have it. We do have it. Oh, exiling is not cool, my friend. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I am pre-recording these videos. So if you're a new patron or a member, I'm very sorry. The patron and the membership will be a little bit delayed because I'm here from the past. And I will be recording three videos today. I recorded two videos yesterday, so the video that you saw yesterday was recorded on Monday already. I did that before I recorded the video with the one James that I'm super glad to say was very well received and I'm very happy about that because I really want to do some more stuff like that in the freaking future. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the most evil hammering. What is there more evil than freaking Demir? Exactly. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. And that's why today we're moving in the darkest timeline. Alchemy freaking Demir. So this is a deck, mm -mm, I love it. It is everything I love about freaking Demir, and here it is. So the meta is pretty aggressive right now. A lot of people are playing a lot of angels, are playing a lot of clerics, are playing a lot of werewolves, and we are farming those today. And that is why we, for example, have a sphere of annihilation. Not many people are playing it. But I've been watching a lot of Overlord lately. I watched all three seasons in a row, Every single day, at least some episodes. And you know, the black hole is just very freaking nice. And this is what it is. A sphere of freaking annihilation. When it enters the battlefield with X void counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, you exile the sphere of annihilation. All creatures and all planeswalkers with mana value less or equal to the number of void counters on it. In graveyards and on the battlefield. And that is just super good. That is just super good. That means that if they have a board full of three cost creatures, you play the Sphere of Annihilation. Also, if you know that they're going to play like a Loaf next turn, you just do this for five. Now they play the Loaf, they put down the spiders, and then what? As soon as it's your upkeep, they will just lose all of their freaking stuff. And that is just very nice because we're all about exiling everything here. That is why we also have the Shadow's Verdict. <coughs> I'm sorry. Shadow's Verdict is such a good anti-meta card right now. There's so many freaking cleric decks running rampant that uh, people just switch to other stuff. But the cleric deck is just super freaking good, you know? And that is why the Shadow's Verdict is even freaking better. You exile all creatures and all planeswalkers, mana value 3 or less from the battlefield, and that is super good, especially with the Leer. Because if you play your Leer, and then you play another Shadow's Verdict, it doesn't even affect your Leer. And it's just, mm, get out of Leer. So, very freaking nice. I like it a lot. Now, what would Leer deck be without the good old Fading Hopes, Infernal Grass, divide by zeros? We have two Absorb Energies in here. Because if we can counter a creature spell while our Kraken is in our hand, oh, we're all about that. Because whatever spell type you counter with this gets one less expensive. Every single one. So that means that if you have a Leer and a Kraken in your hand and you now counter the uh, creature deck, a uh, creature spell, now your Leer costs 4, your Heartbreak Horror costs 6, what else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. So very freaking nice. We do have the Celestis for rampant reasons. I thought about putting a key to the archive in here, and it, I think it might work, but I honestly didn't know what to cut for it. Because I really also wanted the Blood on the Snow. Because if you play Blood on the Snow, and you have five Snowlands, which we will have, you can just bring back the Leer. And then it's going to be all the good stuff all over again. So yeah, discover the formula, just a very insanely good card in this deck as well, because every non-land card in your hand now costs also one less to cast. So there is a possibility, there is a possibility that you will have a 5 cost Heartbreaker Horror together with the Absorb Energy to discover the formula. If you have a Leer on the field and you play to discover the formula just once more, everything will get even less expensive. The only bad part about that, and that's not even like super bad, but just a little bit, is that the Blood on Snow also will cost less, so you will have to pay less Snowland, 
which means that maybe you will not be able to get rid of the uh, to get back your leer. But you are still able to get rid of all of the planeswalkers and uh, or creatures. So totally freaking worth it. And of course, the Mirok Masker is super good in here, and the Celeste is just such a good ramp and just such a good card because everything that ends up in your graveyard, like almost everything, there's like two cards that or three cards that don't profit from it. But apart from these, like eight in total cards, whatever you discard is good. Because if you discard another Celestis to draw a card, that is good because you can only have one. And if you discard like a uh, sorcery or instant, you can just bring it back with the leer. Bring it back, sing it back, leer it back to me. Then we have a sideboard because of divide by zero, because together with the fading hope and the divide by zero, you know, you will keep their board empty forever until the heartbreak horror comes down. It's amazing. Sideboard, we have two environmental sciences to get whatever lands we need. We have the teachings of the Akaiks, just in case they have more cards than us with the Divide by Zero and Fading Hope. Then we have one Expand Anatomy, and that is because, just imagine, they have two creatures or one creature on the field. You play the Heartbreak Horror, and now you play the ho uh, Expand Anatomy onto your Heartbreak Horror. It now is a 9-9 with Vigilance, uh, sorry, a 9-10 with Vigilance, and you return something to their hand. You get in there for a lot of freaking damage, and that is just super tasty. We have the Mask Exhibition, and all of these can be played once more with the Leer. And if you have them in your hand while you play the Discovery Formula, they will get even less expensive forever. So that is super perpetually good. There we have three All of the Storm Giants to smack in for the final bit of damage. Six Snow Covered Lands, uh, Islands, nine Snow Covered Swamps. We have three Shipwreck Marsh, and for some freaking reason, we'll not see a single one. Even though I double checked during the games, we have them in our freaking deck, but we haven't seen one in the whole freaking games. Just a little spoiler here. Be sure to check that out. Here we have the Three Field of Ruin just to get rid of their Hall of the Storm Giants and whatever. This is a super good deck. It is super strong against the meta right now, and the only thing where you will have like tough matchups will be against like out of control decks if they draw just a little bit better than you. But that is like typically for control decks. And that is typical for mirror matches. The one that draws better just wins the freaking game. But you know with the Shadows Verdict, the Medoc Massacre and all of these Infernal Grass and pushback spells that we have right here. You will have enough time to get to cracking out. And once the horror hits the field. Mm -mm. And no, these two work so well together. Look, that is the ship that gets destroyed by the Kraken. So they freaking work together so well. I love it. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is the darkest freaking timeline. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those evil games. <laughs> <laughs>
freaking bad. All right. Take action. Yes. And, uh... I think we're getting rid of the Fading Hope. Just in case, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. Okay. But that is still all right, you know. It's still A-OK. -okay for now. Resolve. Let us see what they're doing here. Nothing. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Good. So, returning this to hand. We uh, get ourselves the environmental sciences. Just to make sure that we hit our land drops. Good. Very, very good. Alright, I like it. I like it a lot. So, let me see here. Yeah, we're just using the Shadows of Radicure right away. Like, why not? Why the heck not? Then, uh, later on, we can just Infernal Grass that, uh, Redain here. All good, you know? All good. We can take it slow. Then we'll play the Discover the Formula, draw ourselves a bajillion cards. That is just very good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, the Field of Ruin is no snow land. So that is also very nice. And, uh... Let's just pass the turn here. Why not? Like, why not? We will pass the turn, get rid of our environmental sciences, because we honestly don't need it anymore. Like, yeah, we really don't need it anymore. Oh, it is night already. I'm, I thought it would turn night, you know? I thought it would turn night. So we're getting rid of this. And depending on what they play here, we can use the absorb energy. If we even want to, you know? We'll have to find out. Yeah, yeah, we want to. We want to. Like this Edgar, no way, Jose. No freaking way, Jose. Alrighty. Oh, freaking righty. So. We, we're chilling. We're chilling. We can play the Discover the Formula during our turn. I mean, we do have the manas. And maybe we find like a counter spell or whatever, you know? And that way we can make sure that we can, uh. Block whatever they're doing. Alright. This is very, very freaking tasty here. Very tasty. Alright, we're going with the Leer. And I'm sure that they will, like, uh, have a removal here. But that is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Because we can just uh, return the Leer to our hand with whatever we want here, you know? And get ourselves even more cards. Even more freaking card advantage. And I like the card advantage. My highest hope, though, is that we will be able to... Okay, there you go. There you go. Alright, we're using the Fading Hope out of our library, of our graveyard already. Uh, of course. Already. And worst case, we could have just, like, you know... Destroyed something with the Field of Ruin. Something like that. Alright, we're getting ourselves another blue source. We absolutely need it. Another freaking blue source. Have we played a land already? I don't even know. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Okay, so. I think we can get rid of the land here. Yes, yes, we can. We can get rid of it. And I wonder how many more Vanishing Verses they have. They might have some. But, you know, we just like being the most evil deck. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't really care about that, to be honest. I really don't. All I've got to check is that I have enough lands for everything, you know? If they do have another one, well, so be it. So freaking be it. But I still do have enough lands for everything, so yeah, all good in the neighborhood. All freaking good in the neighborhood. I mean, they know about my fading hope, you know? Why should they do anything rash? Yeah, I don't think they will. I don't think they will do anything rash. They do. They do something rash. Okay, well, I'm using the Fading Hope out of my graveyard once more. Just because why not, you know? <coughs> Do you have another Vanishing Verse, though? That is the question of the century. The Shambly Boy, alright. So. Playing the Leer here once more. They don't have anything, I like to see that. Freaking love to see that. 
Now we're getting rid of all of their freaking things in their graveyard and everywhere. And keeping up our fading hope. And that is just what we do. We're fading hope, Joanna. Fading hope, Joanna. Hope, Joanna, when the morning comes. The morning will never come. It is already day. Okay, I know, I know. But you know, I think we, we got him locked in. The moment we get to Kraken, mmm, mmm, mmm. It's going to be delicious. Just my, like my coffee here. So do you have another one? Do you really have three vanishing verses? We'll have to find out. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, my friend. But ain't gonna happen. Ain't Andy Scoop! Mmm, most evil Malone. Top 300. Here we go again. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, the game is going on. All right. I thought I was sitting here for the longest freaking time. Aeon J. Are they not even mythic? That is so, like, is there nobody? No, no, nobody. Nobody playing mythic today. I cannot believe it. All right. I like this hand. I mean, we have the pushback of the century. Once our hand is empty, we just draw new cards with the uh, teaching of the Akaiks. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape. It's dragons. It's freaking dragons. All right. Well, we do have the fading hope here, so no problem. And we have only blue sources for now. Oh, it's werewolves. It's werewolves. But still all right, you know? Because, oh, the fading hope is just a removal for that. And uh, no, I need a black sources, please. Thank you very much, game. Well, that's no black source. That ain't no black source. Buddy, with the divide by zero, we can do stuff. I'm not too afraid. Just a little. Just a little. The tenacious pup. All right. But if that is all they're doing, our uh, absorb energy will be looking good. Our divide by zero will be looking good. Everything. Everything is looking good. And they only have like one... The heck was that? You already played a land, my friend. You already played a land. Oh, my lord. That was so freaking weird. Shouldn't have done that, my friend. Should not have done that. Okay. So. We're returning this to their hand. I think uh, counter spells are uh, kept for something more important here. And they will be just replaying it next turn. So I'm not too afraid, you know? Just not too afraid. And one damage here, as we established before. Honestly, no freaking problem for us. Oh, if I only had, like, one more freaking black source here. Like, we haven't found one single black source. Even though, like, look at how many black sources we have. They're way more often in our deck than anything else. So, yeah. But this is pretty nice. Pretty freaking nice. We can use the Sphere of Annihilation very soon, and I like that. I like that a lot. All right, Werewolf Pack Leader is here. What else, though? What else? The Pack Song Pup. All right. I will be getting rid of the Werewolf Pack Leader here right away. Because it just presents too much freaking uh, value for them, you know? Just too much value. I don't like that. Okay. So let me see how we're doing this here. Like, all I need is two mana for the... Yeah, that is good. For the Sphere of Annihilation. So I'm getting rid of the Lair of the Hydra here. I will be taking a little bit of damage. But uh, we're also getting a second Black Source here, which is super importante. Super freaking importante. And, uh, yeah. Now we're doing this. For two. Now these will be gone, so next turn, which is nice. And whatever they're doing, we have the Infernal Grass, we have the Leer, we have the everything. Freaking everything. Oh my, okay. Well, that will also be Gonzo, you know? That will just be Gonzo. Alright. So we're taking a little damage here. Alright, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, it's just a little bit of damage. Just a little bit of damage. Okay. Good. Exile it all to hell. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. So as soon as we find a freaking other land, we can play the blood on the snow here. We could go with the Leer. But honestly, I don't feel like it. So I'm just doing this. 
And keeping up my uh, counter spell. I'm doing this main phase just to, like, put on a little pressure on them. Just to show them that I don't care, you know? The werewolf pack leader? That is exactly what I wanted to see here, to be honest. Exactly what I wanted to see. Now my leer costs less. Good. Good. Thank you. You helped me out here. Help me out a little bit. Alright. So no matter what they play here. Maybe they even have a land on top. Who knows? But we have all the answers now. Once more. Once more access to freaking everything. Alright. I don't care about that. Is that all you have? Is that seriously all you have? Alright. Am I fading hoping it? No, I'm not. There's no need to. There's honestly no freaking need to. And, uh... I mean, I need another land here. So that is a good opportunity to get some life back as well. And then we're chilling. Then we're chilling. So we could, like, return their ranger class to their hand here. But do I really want to? I mean, I do have a blood on snow for later, you know? And as long as I don't have another absorb energy, like, that feels useless, to say the least. So... I mean, they have two of those now. Just freaking two of those. So were you always using the one out of our graveyard? Always. Okay, that is enough, Len. Thanks. I need something uh, better here. Just a little bit better. Alright, I mean, we do have two Infernal Grass. We have two Divide by Zero. We have the Blood on the Snow. Do I really worry about anything? I don't think I do. I just don't think I do. So, we're chilling. We will see what we get here. We will just see what we get. All right, that is like perfect. That is just like freaking perfect. Okay. So, I will start attacking in. Just, you know, why not? They're blocking. All right. Well, that is totally fine by me. Totally freaking fine by me. Like, there has been some, like, questionable place already here today. Alright. That is freaking weird. I have no clue what that is, but I don't want to see it. I don't want to see your transformation here, my friend. I don't want to see it. Alright, so, I think we got this locked in. Like, seriously. Like, we're getting in it for three every single turn. We have all the fading hopes. We have all the divide by zeros. What else do you want, exactly? Yeah, all right, they're looking at my stuff. That always is a good sign, you know? Always a good freaking sign. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, but that ain't gonna happen today, my friend. Ain't gonna happen. And we're getting ourselves the Masked Exhibition. And I think it is time to bring down the Masked Exhibition. Or is it? Yeah, I mean, why the heck not, you know? Why the freaking heck not? Like, we still have a Fading Hope here. And the Masked Exhibition is just very, very good. And if we can bring down another one with the Leer later on, well, I mean, that's just G to the Jeep. I mean, what are they supposed to do here? That doesn't even help him one single bit, you know? Not one single bit. The Jaspara Sentinel. Okay. Alright. You Jaspara away. I will just do this now. Get rid of your Jaspara Sentinel. Do I even... Do I even know I don't do scoop? Mmm! Get out of here! 221! Only one space away from the 222, which would be such a nice number. Holy moly. I love Demir so much. Delir. Delir. So evil. So freaking evil. Get out of here, everyone. Lear is in the house. Mmm! All right, we're up against a snack. It's like a snack, but I'm sorry. I will. I'm fired. Yeah, I know. I know. It is so weird how many blue sources we always have, but I like the hand, especially if you're up against a mono green deck. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The shadows verdict is just so super tasty here. So super freaking tasty. Yes. So all we've got to do is to divide by zero something, get ourselves a black sword. It's another freaking okay, well, this what it is, what am I supposed to do about it? Nothing, I tell you, nothing. So they will be playing like a, um, 
a werewolf here next turn, which is alright. We do have to divide by zero. They also hold a shock or something. I don't know what it is, but I don't like to see it. Alright. If you're only getting in it for one every single turn, that ain't gonna be enough. Ain't not gonna be enough. Another tenacious pup. Okay. Well, that is kind of nice. I like it. I will be taking three here, but you know, totally fine. We do have to divide by zero. We have so many Shadows Verdicts. And usually they don't have too many things over three cost, you know? Not too many. But we will find out. Maybe they do. And if they do, we do have to divide by zero here. So we're taking three damage. Who cares about three damage? Not me. That much I can tell you. And I mean, that if you have so many Shadows Verdicts, like that is just so good. That is just extraordinarily good. So they will be losing their Tenacious Pups here. Goodbye, Tenacious Pups. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go like this. I very much am. So, we do have to divide by zero here. And afterwards, I don't think there's any creature big enough to survive our Meat Hook Massacre. Alright, the Tovalar. That is kind of big enough yet. And I don't want to use my Shadow's Verdicts right away. So we're getting the teachings here. Why not? Like, why the heck not? Alright. Good. We do have the Leer. Could have also played the Leer. But maybe they do have, like, a fight spell or something like that. I don't want to run into that, you know? I just don't wanna. So, now it is small enough for our Meatok Massacre. And that is what I want to see here. Also, what do we have here? Nothing. Just nothing. Alright. So, Tovalar, you're gonzo. I don't think there's anything for Red that can pump, uh, like, toughness, you know? Only power. No toughness. Okay. So, I think they're missing green sources, which is brutal for them. But honestly, it's okay for me. It is absolutely okay for me. Good. So, how are we doing this? We have a lot of possibilities here now. What is in here? Nothing of value for now. Let's use some bait. Let's use it. Just a little bit of bait. And uh, yeah, if they put down more creatures here, that is absolutely fine with me. We can just blood on the snow, bring back our leer. So this hasty boy here brought in a little bit of more pain than I would have hoped. But it's alright. It is absolutely alright. So as long as they do play another creature here or something like the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, we do have it. We do have it. Oh! Exiling is not cool, my friend. Exiling is not cool at all. Wow, okay. Well, that was unexpected to say the least. Just unexpected to say the freaking least. Alright, well, what am I supposed to do about that? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Let's just hope they don't have any more hasty boys. Flame Blast Bolt. Seriously. Seriously. Unbelievable. Alright. So we're chilling now. We need to be a little bit careful. And we do have the all of the Storm Giants here now. So that is alright. Okay, we just do it this because they exiled our stuff. If you're exiling our stuff, we're exiling yours. All right, we do have the Infernal Grasp here now for whatever the slam on the table. Like the Reckless Stormseeker. Do not like to see that. Let us see if they do have a Snakeskin Veil here. They do not. They do not have a Snakeskin Veil. So now all we've got to do is to chill. Well, we can return whatever they have to their hand now. Thanks to our uh, abundance of lands. And if they would have a snakeskin veil, they would have used it here, to be honest. I think they would. Yeah. Like, why shouldn't they have? Okay. Let's do this now. And draw ourselves some cards. 
Like, why shouldn't we? Hmm. Yeah, that is also nice. That is also nice. Oh, it was... I, for some reason, thought it was there. Okay, well, I... I I'm sorry. I, I... I misspoke. Okay. Well, in that case, we're just chilling. We do have the all of the storm giants here to block. And we would see what they're doing. We would just have to see what they're doing. They can give themselves some power, yes, but if they do that... That is all right with me. If they, like, trade here, that is fine with me. Absolutely fine. But they can do this for, uh, five. So we will take two, but they will still lose their Tovolar. And if they draw a card here, we can finally use our teachings of the Akaiks. Which is also very nice. Alright! We still have another hall, you know? It's not like we don't. It is not like we don't. And it's only two turns until you're donezo. Freaking donezo. Alright. So we're being aggressive here. I don't think there's anything with haste for seven that they could have here. I just don't think so. Werewolf pack leader. Is that it? Is that it? Alright. Well. We are snacking in there. Like one bajillion percent. They have to block, you know? We're being the aggressors here. We're being the freaking aggressors here. That is not enough. That is just not enough. Just not enough. I'm sorry. It's it's just not, you know? And as soon as we find one land, and they don't find like two or three creatures, we just win the freaking game. This has freaking Ward 4, my friend. Freaking Ward 4. Oh my lord, we devour and a scoop. Mmm! I was just about to say we're devouring those freaking aggressive creature decks like we were a Croxa. And they were our hunger incarnate. Mmm! Get out of here, all you aggressive creatures! Get out of here! Mmm! Alrighty, things are going pretty well right now. Pretty freaking well! Also, games are taking so long that our ranking changes in between. At least I feel like it does. Hmm. I mean, with the fading hope, we can dig for a lance. With the divide by zero, we can get ourselves lands. We're on the draw. So I feel like we can do this, you know? I feel like we can. Alright. Well, we go with the, uh, with the snow-covered island here. And depending on what they do here, the sphere of annihilation is just super tasty. Super freaking tasty. So. Let's try. Let us try. Okay, they have it. They have it. Should have done it right away. Depending on what they have here. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of expected it, you know. Kind of did. Kind of freaking did. Alright, well, this is bad, to say the least. Not finding a land here. So now we're getting screwed by me being like greedy. Like being freaking greedy. Good, we get, need to get rid of this right away. Like right away. Not even chilling. So, uh, creatures and planeswalkers. Yes. Oh, come on, game. Come on, one land is all I need. One single land is all I need. All I freaking need. All I need is one land. Thank you very much. Thank you so very freaking much. So now we can start turning this around. At least I feel like we can. Hmm. Yeah, that is all right. We'll see what they're doing, though. The Sphere of Annihilation is just very nice here, you know? Just very, very nice here. And we will freaking use it right away. Like, we're also doing it for two. Just in case they plan on doing any shenaniganery, we can do that, you know? Just do that. Us, we're still not drawing lands. That is brutal. Just, just putting it out there. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay! Alright! That was your move here! That was your move! Okay, well, not bad to say the least, but was it worth it? Was it really worth it? We will have to find out. So all of their things get exiled from the graveyard anyways. And we finally find lands here. 
Okay. That is good. That is real good. So all we've got to do is to divide by zero something they're doing here. Alright, we're doing it once more. So that they, if they want to, like, get their Skullport merchant on the field, they have to sacrifice their treasures. That is our plan here. And I think it is a good plan. Alright. Well, they don't wanna. They don't wanna. And that is alright to me. Oh, why did you use the two blue... I could have used the absorb energy here. But uh, hey, but uh, hey, it's all right. It's all good. It is all good. I should have get, gotten myself. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I misplayed, okay? I misplayed. I admit it. I freaking misplayed here. I did. <laughs> so they want to keep their... Um, they really want to keep their treasures open, which is fine by me. I will just like uh, Shadow's Verdict here. And then we're good. Then we're good. Later on, I can bleed on the snow. So that is also very nice. But do we even? I mean, that's too damage. I don't really care about too damage, you know? I'd rather have all of my stuff open still. The Curse Bound Witch. Okay. But what are you doing with the Curse Bound Witch? Alright, nothing. So they're not doing anything. They're playing it smart. At least they think they're doing it. So they will be drawing here. At least I'm pretty sure they will. Sacrificing the Curse Bound Witch? Yes. Makes sense. Make us a sense. But all I want them to do is to, uh, you know, use up their treasure. If they can use up the treasure, I'm very happy about that. And now all of their Skullport merchants will be gone, so... And that is very, very, very nice. Okay, so... That is it. They drew a lot of cards, but now they're down to four mana. Oh my lord! What the heck, man? That was just, like, perfect here. Well, we emptied their graveyard, you know? We got that going for us, so... He that is the third Skullport Merchant. The third one. Yeah, okay, game. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. We still got the Meadog Massacre here. So, hey. So, hey. Maybe they mill themselves sooner or later. Maybe that is going to happen. I don't know. We'll have to find out, don't we? Yes, yes. Alright, getting rid of all of that stuff, that is very nice. I will just meet Ogmasker here now. Because right now they cannot do anything. They could be attacking in with their uh, Hive DI Tyrant. But I will very soon have more answers in my graveyard and that is very nice. As soon as I will be able to play the Leer. The Loath! Okay, alright. That is alright, eh? Are we doing this here? Or are we doing this here? I don't know yet. Let me think. If we do this, we'll have a counter spell open and finally enough mana to do some stuff later on. But that is kind of it. But still, I feel like, yeah, that's the right choice of action here. Like, we can return the Leer to their hand end of turn and then counter it if we want to. We can counter whatever we want here. Yeah, that also makes sense. Also makes sense to do that here. Okay. Well, not bueno right now. Not looking too good. Like, uh, yeah. Their refilling their hand here was just very, very nice. I've got to say. I've got to freaking say. My turn. Are we returning the Leer here now? Nah. Nah, we're not. We're not. Take action. Absorb energy, yes, okay. So how dead are we if we're doing this now? Let me think. Let me freaking think. I think that we're, uh... Hmm. We don't have anything in here. So it's not worth doing it, you know? But we could bring down the Leer. Have our divide by zero open. Do nothing else, though. Doesn't seem too appealing, but we would have two fading hopes. So that is kind of okay. Kinda. 
And we will see. We will just have to freaking see. Alright, they do have the answer right away. They do have it right away. Nope, absolutely not. And now we're returning to Lear. Turns day. You can see what we're doing here. Draw a card, yes. A land, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So slowly but surely, we will be doing it. I'm sure we can. If we can finally find like a field of ruin or something, that would also be like extraordinarily good. Like seriously, extraordinarily good. Alright, they still have two mana open here. But we need to be careful, you know? It's not like we're out of the woods yet. It's not like we're super safe. Go, my children. We're everything but super safe. Alright. We're bringing down another Leer. And we will see what they're doing here. Like now we do have two Infernal Grasps. So that is also very nice. I like it. Like it a lot. Are you kidding me? How many more do you have? Like how many more things do you have here? Holy smokes. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Well, we still do have the uh, Infernal Grasp here to uh, get rid of their... Uh... Oh, alright. Well, that is no bueno. That is just no bueno. And we're getting ourselves a Masked Exhibition here. Holy smokes. Okay, we're doing this now. Destroying all creatures. We're on life support right now. We're on freaking life support. Okay. So we're gaining some life back, which is su super good. Like, super, super good. Resolve all. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Okay. And the turn. And if they want to, like... They just have it all, don't they? They just freaking have it all, don't they? Just incredible. Just incredible. Wow. I cannot believe it. I cannot freaking believe it. Like two heroes downfall, three in front. Look at this. Look at this. It's just unbelievable. Un freaking believable. Okay, we're doing this right away. Like right away. Not even chilling. Not even freaking chilling. Like there's no chill for us here. None so ever. None. Zero. Nada. These stupid little spiders. Cannot believe it. I don't want to believe it. So we're dead if we don't play something here. So we absolutely have to play something here. And I think that we're doing the Masked Exhibition. We lost our blood on the snow. Like, very much so. They still have removal. That is the third hero's downfall. Unbelievable. We're dead. We're dead. They play the Professor Onyx. They make us sacrifice our creature with the biggest toughness. And we're dead. Well played, my friend. Well played. Good game. Well, the Master of Mono Black got gotten by Master of Mono Black. I, I concede my title today. I just do. But, you know... Against a freaking hand like this, like everything they had, they had three times. Every single freaking thing. Like, how do you want to play around like three, like, dwarves, three heroes downfall, three infernal grass? Like, come on. They really had it all. Well, I mean, losing to Mono Black, and it was bound to happen someday. Get out of here, game. Get out of here. That was brutal. And we're up against Rorg the Griefer. I remember playing that person. What is with the rankings today? It's so freaking weird. So freaking weird. All right. So. I mean, we do have a Shadow's Verdict, which is just generally very good in the meta right now. We do have the Infernal Grasp. So let us just hope that we're not up against Rai. We're not. Okay. Perfect. Now we did find a Fading Hope here. 
I mean, what else do you want? Nothing, I tell you, nothing. All right. So, I mean, we don't have any blue sources here anyways. Also, did I not have found one single? One single. Like, let's get rid of it right away. Like, no reason to keep this around. Like, next turn we can play the Celestis. I have not found a single dual land. Not one. I wonder what is up with that. I mean, I do have them, right? I do have them. Yeah, I do. <laughs> not a single one in the whole freaking game. That is just so crazy to me. So freaking crazy. Alright, this is good. Meadok Massacre is exceptionally good. I will keep that. Thank you very much. Alright. So. Now it turns night. That one I do not like too much. Let us get rid of the Meadhawk Massacre here. Yeah, I think the Meadhawk Massacre is just too slow. Just too slow. And we do have the Fading Hope here, so it's all good. And all we need is one or two more mana and then we're super fine. Very much super fine. The Howling Moon. Okay. And the Pax Home Pub. Alright, it will turn day though now. Just so you know, my friend. Yes, I want that land. I want it. Take action. We can get rid of this land. Well, maybe that wasn't too smart. I mean, I wanted a land and now I have nothing. Well, but with the absorb energy, you know, we're not drawing here. This time we ain't drawing. With the absorb energy, I can make my heartbreak a horror a little bit less expensive. And that is very good. That is very much what I want. Thank you very much. You stepped right into my trap card. Nap, nap, nap. Okay. So, yeah, that is totally fine with me. We decline here. Like as I said, we need our cards that we have right now. And, uh, yeah, that is all that matters. Gaining a lot of life, though. Gaining a lot of life. That is super good. Depending on what they do here. Oh, okay. That is nice. You do that. Please play another three to uh, three power uh, three mana creature. Rock the Griefer. Like how many werewolves are we encountering today? That is just so weird to me. All right, pass to attacks. They are attacking, and is there anything I need to fear here? I don't think there is. I just don't think there is. <laughs> I fear nothing, Jon Snow. Nothing, I tell you. All righty. Like this is just so good. I don't think there's... Oh, they could have something, you know? They could have, like, a removal spell here. Like the 5 damage exile target whatever permanent on the field. That could be. That could be. But we will have to find out if they have it. Like the Brittle Blast. Brittle Blast is the name. Hello? Yeah. Sell Brittle Blast. We don't want that here. We do not. Okay, thank you very much. Alrighty. So. How are we doing this? Well... We're chilling. We're just attacking in here. You know, that is seven freaking damage coming their way. And, uh... Okay, they just freaking block. That is super good for me. I, I really don't mind that one bit. And I feel like the Sphere of Annihilation can go here. It's just a little slow, but hey, it is a good card. And I absolutely wanted to play it. The Helana and Alina. Alrighty. Interesting. Pretty interesting. So maybe they're playing something here. We will have to find out. But you know, we do have the Hall of the Storm Giants. And I feel like... Alright, it's a tenacious pup. Good. Good. But are you attacking in here? Are you now? Are you now attacking in? That would be very interesting to see. Pass to attacks. Oh, gosh. They always forget about the Hall of the Storm Giants, do they now? Do they now? Yes, they do. And they scoop! Mmm! Mmm! Get back in the top! Ah, oh, come on! I know they were low on level. But I just want to be top 200. Oh, that would have been so sweet. Would have been so sweet. Mmm! So no Master of Mono Black today. Uh, I fold up my glasses, I put them down real sad. So the only thing that could beat us today was a mono black deck that, but in all honesty, had it all. Like, 
The third hero's downfall. How are you playing around that at some point? You know, it's just brutal. Just brutal. Also, the games take so long to load that sometimes your rank changes in one or the other direction. That is crazy to me. That is just freaking crazy. We won a rank by waiting. We lost a rank by waiting. What is going on with it? It's only, only one. You know, it's only one rank. But if you go for the top, one rank can make the difference. But hey, before we get into the wrap-up like a chewing gum, I want to thank all of my patrons members. Especially after that awesome giveaway we had. And you should totally check out Monday's video to find out if you won. So starting with my set of the great hardest, I want to say thanks to Randy Campbell, Chris Evans, Tom Tom, Vince Image, Wiki White, John Vaff, Felipe Rodriguez, CS Jeremy, my friends of Mike, Grey Wolf, and Mercy88, Steve, Jonathan Norton, Empty Bag, Morphe, Luis, Felipe Sanchez Perez, Jel Teleskiewicz, Nili Leguan, Jose Ceron, Macario Francis, Kelly Port, Troy Graham, Cordu, Ben Ninja Stamanda, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Simon Blood, Doc Vorpal, Jed Riberick, Billy Basham, Christian Rudig, Aeon, Jake the MTG Snake, Danny Montgomery, Lucas Simmer, Jay Jackson, Ari Manazic, XV, Chad and the Trainer, Ruben Ganef, Drake Al, Droll Hug, Carver, Derek Trotter, Chris Diekman, Stan Gulecki, Psycho Drain, Stein Carlson, Alexander Paliusi, and Andre Kelly. A special thanks for going. Gold Span Dragons, Waffles, Randy Kid, Alti, Genuine, Simster, 65, Winning White, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, Your Boy, Big Bizzle, Mr. Mud, Damon Tate, James Wade, Monkey Ray, Jack Tub, Jeff Smythe, Phil Raven, Chips, Nerd, Paul English Wolf, Anima, Cthulhu, Letta, Silas Fox, Nick Pop, Tim Novitsky, Holorific, Del Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Matt D, Isaiah MB, Trent Reese, James Brown, Anil Hale, Timmy, Jeremiah Willard, Jones, Choba, Joe Travelard, RHCP76, Brad W, Adam Shakar, Orion Winterfire, Daniel Roma, Patheus Griner, and Christian Armstrong, and a special thanks. Tornico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Randolph, William Smith, Ario Wolf, The Lacrime, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, Quicks Neil, Jonathan Zauer, Brown Beard to Tekken, and Man's Room, Louie. You guys and gals and tree folks and Kraken, whatever you identify as, are pretty freaking sweet indeed. I really appreciate that you go in the X Mine. Also, this was cut off, so here you go again. Double now. I really appreciate it that you. Oh. I've slapped the microphone. That is how much I appreciate it. Did you go in the extra my supporting the channel with your hard-earned cash? I know it's not a given. And I'm like, when I realized that I have over a hundred patrons and members already, that is mind explosion to me. So thank you all so very freaking much for supporting me. I mean, there's so much I couldn't do without all of you. And uh, just talking giveaways, that is like the least. But even like buying all the packs to make this channel work every single day, with new refreshing cards that nobody sees all the time, wouldn't be possible. And if you want to help me on my mission to become the greatest, like the no one ever was, to play the Amos Mario test, you can support me on the Patreon and the membership. There's a button below every single video. There's a link in the description. But if you don't have any hard-earned cash, don't you worry about it. Sweet summer child. There's always other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It's free. Look, there's even a little smiley here. So very, very nice. All right, so Mono Black Goddess. I, I, I folded down my uh, my glasses here today. I, I folded them down. There is a... I've got to say, they drew very perfectly. Like, whenever I thought I had an answer, they had two answers. Whenever I thought I had something to do, they had three things to do. So that is how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you eat the cookie and sometimes the cookie just chokes you to death. That is just what happens, you know? No water around, only coffee. The coffee is cold, you don't want to drink it. What are you supposed to do? So thank you all so very, very freaking much. I will now go on to record two more videos because I will be leaving this weekend to make music with my band. We are only practicing, sadly, but uh, no concerts for now. But it's still pretty good. Don't you worry about it. One day, when it's all is over and people get a clue and we'll work together, maybe... Maybe art will come back. And maybe it will come back to you as well. And we will do a world tour. The world tour of Malone domination. So thank you all so very freaking much. This has been The Darkest Timeline. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.